Hello everyone, I'm Firemax Ultimate Pyro, and welcome to a brand new series on my channel where I let's play video games, starting with one of my favorite series, Paper Mario. And of course, starting with the original game of the series, well, Paper Mario. <laughs> so, yeah, and I love the Mario series in general. I just love it, it's all awesome, but my preferred series out of the whole franchise is definitely the Paper Mario series. It's just so cool and unique and fun, and it differs itself from the rest while keeping the same elements. Yeah, here we go with the intro. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Star Spirits and Good Wishes. Far, far away, beyond the sky, <laughs> far, far away, sounds like a Star Wars intro, way above the clouds, it's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully, very carefully. And then... Oh dear, what the... Who stuck that weird thing into this story? Ah, yeah, I did it! Ah! So I can at long last beat my arch enemy Mario. I'll take this star rod. Do it, Kami Koopa. Yeah, I have Kami Koopa. Bowser and Kami Koopa invade the Star Haven to steal the all-powerful star rod. Blast open with fire. Oh yeah, this is bad. No, you mustn't do that. Yeah, now let's try using it. Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! You're changing the story! Rah! We did it! That was a piece of cake! Rah! Yeah, Bowser stole the all-powerful all star rod to make himself invincible. Finally defeat Mario. Now star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes, but those wishes will not come true. Whatever can they do? Well, we'll find out. It's time to start this awesome game. Here we go, Paper Mario. Yep, oh, brand new file. Uh, just name it Max <laughs> regularly. My regular name, why not? All right, let's do this. Let's go. Oh, now let's go. I love how this this game starts out the same exact way as Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door does. Perry carry entering. It's cool. <laughs> Mail call. <laughs> Luigi getting the letter. Same in both games. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess of Peach. I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, haven't you guys learned from... <laughs> from Super Mario 64. Don't you know these kind of parties with cake never end well? <laughs> Voucher's always gonna invade. <laughs> I mean, seriously, you think they learn by now? Well, but I, I guess the Mario series doesn't have a set canon, so there's no really canon, like, timeline, so we don't know. So, yeah, we don't know which came first. But, well, well, still, either way, one had to come before the other, so we would have to... They would have to know either way, or well, whatever. What a magnificent the castle. I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. Alright, now we gotta go up and meet Princess Peach. Let's go. And then walking past this Muslim toad. Yeah, anyways, let's head on up there. 
So yeah, guys, you just go straight through these doors up to where Princess Peach is. You don't bother talking to any of these guys. That's a waste of the time. Go up these stairs. You to meet up with Princess Peach. And we all know what, how that'll go. <laughs> Here she is. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat? Just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Oh, but of course they never get their special moment, do they? Oh, I wonder who's doing this. Oh, let's take a guess, shall we? Oh, it couldn't be, uh... Oh, yo, it's Bowser, of course! Oh, yeah. And... And... Really outdid himself this time. Lifting the entire castle up into the sky with his own castle. What the hell? The giant clown car with wrecking balls. How the hell did he do this? Oh, my God. He's really outdone himself this time. More impressive than anything he's ever done. Oh, are you all right, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Yeah, because you're in outer space. Oh, God. Bowser breaks through the window with his clown car. And with Cammy, of course. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? What do you think did it? Freaking Whatever did you do? Grah! Yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! This castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you obey me! Huh? What? It's Mario. What a shock. Ha! Not really. I expect you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I have had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win. Okay, tough guy. Let's go! Mario, you can do it! Alright, so we are fighting Bowser. And he's really not bluffing when he says there's nothing we can do this time. He's actually quite serious when he says that. There's really nothing we can do this time. Like, nothing. We'll see why. Yeah, I just turned the lights on because, you know, there was problems with the, the lighting. Couldn't see the text very well. So sorry about that. And you'll see what he means. Good old Mario. Always fighting. You are a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. Yeah, powering up becomes invincible. There's nothing we can do. So don't worry, people. We're not supposed to win. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? It's part of the plot. We're supposed to lose. Nothing we can do. Oh, he does. He's invincible. Can't do anything. Grahaha, is that all he's got? How sad. You best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. Yep. Yep, nothing we can do. We're just screwed. <laughs> yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. 
It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Ooh, roasted with fire breath. Oh god, that's painful. Ten damage. KO. KO, Mario. Good night. <laughs> oh god. KO. Oh no, Mario. Get up. Yes. Oh yeah, I did it. I finally did it. I beat my old rival Mario. Yes. Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you are the king. As long as I have the Star Rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Blast him out with lightning, oh god. See you later, Mario. <laughs> We'll see you later. <laughs> oh no, Mario! Yeah, I mean, the Koopa Trolls come to kidnap Princess Peach and bring her to Bowser's castle. Oh, and there's Mario floating down like paper. That actually makes sense. It's logical because it's Paper Mario. It's actually floating down like real paper. You know, that makes logical sense. The other games don't have that kind of physics, but this game does. So here we, so here we go, Paper Mario! Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh yeah, prologue, a plea from the stars. 